years. Our founders, Joseph N. Goddard and his son, opened their small grocery in Bridgetown exactly 100 years from that date. Now, Goddard operates in 26 countries throughout the Caribbean, Central America, South America, and North America. That first year, we had a total sales in 1921 of $10,000. Last year, our sales were approximately $800 million. And I guess that's really why we're here today, is to talk about the entrepreneurship of this group and our hope that some of the businesses, some of the awardees today, will be in a very same position. That 100 years from now, you'll be meeting with teams, or at least your companies will be, and you'll be celebrating the millions of dollars that each and every one of you will be selling, whether it's here within the Caribbean or internationally. And we're hoping that our contribution today of the $10,000 will get you on your way and start you off. But it's really not just about the money. Our commitment is really about people. And you'll see that's why today we have our sponsors, our coaches, or mentors here to meet all of you. And that's really part of the commitment. It's one thing to have the financial support. It's another thing to have experienced business people there that you can rely on, somebody you can call in a time of need, or someone who can at least give you some advice, open some doors, make some connections, do the networking that you may not be able to do. And trust me, that is equally as, impo uh, as important in success. Good afternoon. As an entrepreneur, only you know the difficulties that you encounter on a daily basis. Trying to find funds, nobody seems to pat you on your back and encourage you. It's really only really friends, family, and so on. So to be part of this and to get a pat on the back from Goddard's Enterprises is truly amazing. It's something that, you know, it's a dream come true. Now I can try to grow my business with the help of the mentors and so on. You know, I have special thanks for people like Bruce, uh, Greg Ward, Richard Seal from R.L. Seal and so on, who have helped me along the way. But truly, this is one of the biggest helping hands that I have been awarded and all, of, all the other entrepreneurs. And we would like to thank you, Mr. Ali, and your team for coming to our aid. I know people come and they say, words can't even express. And it, you know, it sounds so cliche, but it really is the truth. It, like when Julie first called me, you know, it was such a surreal feeling. I was hearing, I was hearing Mr. Ali as well speaking, but just like, you know, when they say, I, 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 it was a lot to process. And, you know, when my sister first told me about the competition, you know, I'm like, do I really have what it takes? But, you know, I said, you know what, I will go ahead and put in the work. And I put so much work into this. And so many times I thought about, should I, should I submit this? Even on the day of, I was almost done. I'm like, does, does this have what it really takes? Being the resilient person that I am, I said, you know what, I'm going to push through and give it my best. And I sent it off. Um, I'm so appreciative and really grateful for the opportunity. It, it really means a lot to me. It's really hard to put that into words, but that you guys were able to see the vision I have and that you were actually willing to invest in it, not just in money, but also in the mentorship that we're going to get. Like that is, there's no really value I can put to that financial value. So as a thank you, I will ensure that the funds that were given to me and also the mentorship afforded to me will be wisely, wisely used so that you all at Quarters would be able to be proud to see that you would have been able to contribute to this business and the growth of it. So